What is one of the number one tools someone can have in their shop? A vise. Today we're going to do a review on this Harbor Freight Central Forge 5 inch multi purpose bench vise. Stick around and check it out. talk about mounting this vise. We're going to mount it on this heavy duty steel, tube steel uh, table here. And that's going to give us a really solid, solid base for it. Now the best place that I've ever found to mount a vise is on the corner of your table. That's going to give you the ability, now this is an adjustable vise and it swivels 90 degrees like this. You can work on projects on the side here, you can swing it back to the front, work on projects on this side, it also swivels here in the center. Putting it on the corner is going to give you the most flexibility for utilizing the vise. You're not going to be bumping into stuff all the time. Additionally, when you mount a vise, you're going to want this back jaw here in front of the front of your table. Now, you're going to want to get it as close to the corners as possible here. We're going to bolt it down with some bolts. We've got some washers. Pretty simple. This one, this vise itself, has just three mounting brackets, I guess you could say. Mounting positions, mounting points. And you can see one two, three. So it's really made to go on a corner. It doesn't have a fourth one back here. And I don't know why that is because some of them do have four mounting positions. And the cheaper, smaller ones only have two. Now, as I get the camera set back up here, you're going to want to purchase a vise that has a five inch jaw. That's going to give you, again, the most flexibility for the most projects and the most pieces that you're going to put in those projects, right? So the smaller the vise, the less flexibility you have to fit something in the vise. <clears throat> a five inch is the way to go. If you can go six inch, uh, that'd be great too. But I, I honestly wouldn't go below a five. This vise is Harbor Freight vise. It looks almost identical to the Irwin vise, which is $20 more. You can find that at Lowe's, Home Depot. This vise, same, even same color, right? So this vise is darn near identical. I couldn't find any difference except for the price. This one was on sale $59.99 at Harbor Freight. I don't know if they have that deal still going on. Go and check it out but they are $79.99 at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot. So there, you're saving $20 for essentially the same vise. Uh, let's go ahead and mount this thing first before I start talking about the features, just so it's not uh, tipping all over the place. Now that we've got this thing mounted, let's take a look at its features and its quality. Now, this is not a professional vise. We all know that buying it from Harbor Freight. Is it going to be good enough for the homeowner? That's the question. I think yes. So what an initial view of it is, is that this front lock bar, there's a lot of play in it and it's a little sloppy and it's a little thin. So that's kind of a negative. Is it going to do, do the job? Probably. One feature I do like on it a lot since this, this swivels is it has two locking screws. There's one here on this side, one here on this side. And the big complaint on usually in more inexpensive vices is that these, the one tiny little lock screw, if you're really reefing on it, is not gonna hold what you're, uh, you're pulling on, you know, whether it's pipe or, you know, whatever, rebar. And so that's a, that's a big, nice feature about this vice. 
This is not a Yoast vise, it's not a Snap-on, it's not a Wilton. Those vices can cost several hundred dollars up to a thousand plus. And like I said, is this going to be good enough for the homeowner? I believe so. So we've got this ability to rotate here in the center and we've got some pipe jaws here on the bottom and that's really handy for cutting uh, metal pipe both ways, this way and um, horizontally and vertically. And we've got our, our regular jaws here at the top. Now these regular jaws I'm not that impressed with. The stippling on them is uh, it's rudimentary. And But the nice thing is, is they've got these little Allen, I don't think you can see that, but these little Allen um, bolts here to, uh, to replace the jaws, so that's good. Now, this is a five inch vise, which means it's gonna come out to five inches. It's gonna give you five inches of uh, jaw width here to get in um, some larger, larger material when you're working on. Let's take a look at a feature that I'm not liking right now. It's okay, but this, uh, this degree uh, measuring tape here, it looks to me to be off-center. And, oops, excuse me, and there is no marking at where zero is. So if I turn these jaws, I don't really know where the zero is coming back to. Now it looks to me like when I move them around that it might be even four or five degrees off, which is, is poor. <clears throat> Am I going to use that a lot? Hmm. Maybe not, but it would be nicer if this was this was more accurate. So you can see on the back here, we've also got uh, a measurement of how far your your jaws are out, which is pretty nice. This back, I believe this is a castle nut here with this lock pin here. It's, it's fairly loose, and that contributes to the looseness of that front lock bar. This portion here, this big uh, cylinder, is not solid, though it is a fairly nice uh, thickness. That's probably over a quarter inch. Maybe it's a quarter inch. Maybe it's a little bit over. But we've got uh, the ability to lock down our lock screw on the side here, or lock bolt. Sorry, these are lock screws. That's a lock bolt for our our rotation in our jaw. So. Like I said, pretty decent. We've got our anvil back here. I'm not sure how much abuse that can take, but it's a good added feature. This is exactly like the Irwin. And that's pretty much it. So if you want a solid vise, and I, I do have to say, pulling on it, beating on it. I'm not going to put it through a torture test right now. Um, it feels pretty solid. It's mounted solid. Make sure you mount it solid so you get to you know, take full advantage of the vise itself. Um, is it worth the money that, uh, that I mentioned? Yeah, it is. And every homeowner needs one of these. There is a myriad of different projects you can do with this. It has to be in your shop. Um, you're going you're gonna to kick yourself if you don't have a vice in your shop. And it's a great starter vice. Or if you're on a budget like we are, fantastic. Central Forge from Harbor Freight. Go for it. They're still on sale, I believe, now. This is September uh, 2017. So get over there. Grab yourself one. I don't get any money for saying that. But first glance and... Uh, ease of mounting, I, I'd spend the 60 bucks and grab the thing. All right. Anyway, have a great day. We will see you on the next video. Do not forget to like and subscribe. We'd love to have you here on a permanent basis. As we always say, have a great day. See ya.